And all of a sudden, if you became conscious that you were angry or emotional or suffering and you became aware that that emotion was keeping you into the past and driving your brain into high beta and you became aware of it and then you settled your bo body back down into the present moment and you kept taking it out of the past sooner or later the animal is going to surrender yes or no and when it does you are going to liberate energy you are going to go from particle to wave from matter to energy and when that happens now, all of a sudden, you start feeling a little bit more joy and energy starts to move right there. Are you with me still? And if you are uncompromising to the eternal present moment, the generous present moment, and you keep coming back to the present moment, coming back to the present moment, and you understand where you place your attention is where you place your energy, and you're no longer thinking about the people you have to see and the places you have to go and your cell phone and your computer and your emails and the news and you keep returning your attention back to the present moment would you agree then you're disinvesting your energy out of the known future and you're making room for the unknown in your life yes or no so then in meditation then if you are literally going to make some type of change and effect your outer world you're gonna have to put most of your attention on your inner world and you're gonna have to become greater than the conditions in your environment and disconnect from your environment you're gonna have to sit your body down and overcome your body and you're gonna have to transcend time are you with me still so then when you're living by the hormones of stress and you're in a threatening situation and the survival gene is turned on then you're gonna spend the most of your time thinking about your environment yes or no and what is your environment made of people pets, things, objects, places, time, yes or no? And when you're living by the hormones of stress and that survival gene is conditioned and turned on, would you agree that you're, oh, you better pay attention to your body if you're being chased by Mr. Big, yes or no? So most people start to put all of their attention on their body and they start believing that they're their body. Are you with me still? And if you're living by the hormones of stress and you're trying to predict the future based on the past, and you would have to agree with me then the only when, when you're in the present moment you can't be in stress because there is no future and there is no past there's only the present moment yes or no so then meditation is about that and what we've measured over and over again when we've done this is I now know without a doubt without a doubt that you are at your absolute best when you get beyond yourself period and I can tell you right now, you can't tell me you're too old. You can't tell me you're too out of shape. You can't tell me about your past. You can't tell me about your disease. I have seen transformation and shifts in people's bodies independent of how, how old they are, how out of shape, how in shape, their wealth, their social status. I've seen it happen on all cultures, all ages, all kinds of people. Are you with me still? So then... If you start taking your attention off your body, then would you agree that you would become nobody? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. And if you took your attention off all the people in your life that you have to take care of and make sure everything's in place, and all those people have created your identity, that the moment you take your attention off all those people in your life, you become no one. Yes or no? Come on. And if you're not thinking about the things you own and all the objects, your computer, your cell phone, then all of a sudden you're in nothing. Yes or no? And if you take your attention off the place you have to go or the place you're sitting and you get so lost in your inner world that there's no longer an outer world, then you're in nowhere. Yes or no? And if you are not thinking about the predictable future or the familiar past and you are in the generous present moment, then you are in no time. Are you with me still? And that means then you're no longer your face. You're no longer your pain. You're no longer your job. You're no longer your gender. You're no longer your diet. You're no longer your profession. You're no longer a mother. You're no longer a father. You're no longer a kid. You're no longer your culture, your skin color. You're no longer your name. You are nobody, no one, no thing, nowhere, and no time. And in that moment, 
you are walking into the door to the quantum field. You are passing through the eye of the needle. Are you with me still? We are living in such an amazing time right now. I mean, if you are not being challenged in some way,